to make a Ultimate Custom Night game, this will be a separate series on the true guide to the random Custom Night game that I have made previously. This is are the animatronic. These are the animatronics so far. Sorry, and these animatronics are the ones that will come after you once you've uh, activated them. In this tutorial, I'll show you the first two animatronics, Toy Floof, Toy Wordy, and I'll also show you Floof and Wordy. Maybe not Wordy. I'll do three animatronics per tutorial and go in-depth about them. So this very first animatronic, Toy Floof. He'll make his way to your office starting on the toy stage. You have to wear the mask to defend against him. So we'll turn it up, turn him up to about 10%. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So now he's at 10. Now if we press go, Then we will come into the office. We can close the doors, wear masks, no, oh, and there he was. So to defend against Toy Floof, you will have to wear the mask when he gets to your office. This seems like it's pretty simple, but even on the 10 difficulty, he'll come by pretty often. Your cameras and mask use up power. Er, not mask, sorry, doors and fan and cameras all use a power. So if you went boom, 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 cameras, your power will go out really fast, which is important for certain animatronics. To make sure that you don't run out of power too fast, you can only keep certain things on at once. Toy Floof will randomly. Well, not randomly, you'll see him on the cameras, but he'll appear over here on the doorway once he makes it to your office. But beforehand, he'll start on the toy stage, and then he'll go to Wordy's Cove. And then, if we go back down, wear the mask, then he'll go away. This is a pretty simple mechanic, similar to actual Toy Freddy in Five Nights at Freddy's 2, and, well, not Ultimate Custom Night. Toy Wordy. He will start on the toy stage, but make his way to the vents. Seal the vent he is closest to to make him go back. Toy Wordy is probably one of my favorite mechanics, along with mechanics similar to Wither Chica's in Ultimate Custom Night. He'll go to the vent system, where you'll see him there, and he'll move from room or er, area to area, making his way to your actual over here, and then he'll go to the office and then you have to close the vent door to make him go back. So there's Toy Wordy and then once we see him up here you have to close the door and then he'll go back. That's pretty much all there is for Toy Wordy. So we can go to here and then regular floof. He will appear in your office at random and you have to click on him to make him go away. We'll set him to 20 because he's um he actually doesn't kill you, but he also goes really slowly. So what regular Floof will do is he'll just appear on your screen and you have to click on him to make him go away. Sometimes he'll cover up buttons and like the mask, so you'll have to click on him to be able to click on those buttons. On 20 mode, he'll appear really fast and really often, so the chances of him covering up a button are more actually there. See like right there, he almost covered the entire camera and now the mask. Again with a mask. If you don't click him, he'll just go to a different spot. This can be really annoying, especially on hard nights where you have most of the animatronics enabled on a high level. And then I'll even show Wordy in this video. He will start in Wordy's corner. Check on him regularly, otherwise he'll run at you. And you have to close the right door to make him go back. We'll set him to 10, like we have with all the others except for Foof. And when we press go, we'll immediately see that on camera 2, there's Wordy. And then we can come over here, close the door, and when he comes, you'll see the eyes. Similar to Toy Floof, but instead of wearing the mask, you have to close the door.
Now, I'll go ahead and show the simplest character. Well, before I explain to you what this character actually does. So he will originally start... He will originally start here on Cam 2 invisible, but then he will become visible over here on the side so that you know he came out, and then he will appear over here on the right door, so you have to close the door to make him go back. The very last character that I'm going to show you in this video, before I make more characters for the next video, is going to be Firefloof. He's different from the rest of the ca cast, as he cannot go from an easy to hard mode, but instead an on or off mode. If, he if your office gets too hot, he will kill you, regardless of other security measures. So, instead of going from 0 through 20, he just goes from 0 to 1. 0 meaning he's not active, and 1 meaning he is active. So you'll see that our temperature over here starts to rise. And we can click this fan, and it'll cool down our temperature, but take away some of our power. You don't really need to use this mechanic until it's at the 90s, because no matter how high it is, it'll automatically set it to 65. If the game can register it quick enough. That's all for this episode of the Ultimate Guide. I'll show you the next four characters well, five once I make them in the next episode. Actually, I'll go ahead and show you the last two characters since there aren't too many. Withered Floof. Along with Toy Birdie, he'll go into the vent. Close the vent when you see him. He actually goes double the speed, but I didn't mention that in here. So I'll just set him to five. Vent. Also, he doesn't start anywhere else. He He's only in the vent. He doesn't go anywhere else. So there's Withered Floof. And eventually he'll make it to this center part. And then this other center part. And then here. Oh, I forgot. Sorry. He's actually glitched. So that won't work. I'll have to fix that glitch. But it's not too bad since he's literally just the same thing as Toy Wordy. Withered Wordy. You'll randomly appear at your left door. Close the door to make him go back. Now you might remember that the left door is the same as Toy Floof. Now, to, to differentiate which one is which, uh, Withered Wordy's eyes will be completely red. And he doesn't have any cameras either. He's just completely random and will appear pretty much out of thin air. So, once you click this red button when he comes... Oh, wait, sorry, I forgot to enable him. Yeah. Once you enable him and he comes into your office with the two red glowing eyes, you have to close the door and then he'll go back. That's it for this video. I'll see y'all in the next video when I get some more animatronics in. Adios!